Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! Hello! It's me again, Juana, and you are watching Juana No channel. For today's video, I am going to share with you the total cost for my teacher's registration. So, meron po akong vacant time as you can see. I am working from home. I am an online English teacher and since meron akong vacant time, I will answer JR Postrado's question. Shout out to you. Hi ma'am, magkano po nagastos niyo lahat-lahat po? Thank you po. Meron na din mga nagtanong nito before pero naisipan ko lang nagawa ng video. So shout out po doon sa lahat ng mga nag-comment. Medyo patalastas lang ng konti. So, I'm wearing my uniform right now. I am currently an online English teacher. Paulit-ulit, nasabi ko na pala kanina. Kasi, um, since merong COVID, hindi pa kami matuloy-tuloy papuntang New Zealand. So, kailangan natin gumawa ng paraan para magkaroon ng income. And I am so lucky that God was able to um, answer my prayer na sana magkaroon ako na income for the meantime na nandito pa kami sa Philippines. So, ito nga, I am working as a full-time online English teacher for the third time. Inulit ko na naman. <laughs> okay, but if you have any questions about online teaching, feel free to leave a comment down below kasi sasagutin ko yan. Marami akong time. Huwag kayong mag-alala. <laughs> um, if you wanna know, how much I spend para sa aking teacher's registration in New Zealand para maging isang uh, registered teacher, please stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Also, if you are a first-timer, kung first time niyo pong map mapanpad dito sa aking channel, don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click the like button if it is, or the like button if this is very helpful. Click the notification um, button or the bell button for notifications. Okay? So, here we go! Kasi meron lang ako 30 minutes na vacant. Okay. For that, ako po alam mo nang mag shout out all the people behind my successful teacher's registration. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Mga panahon na meron kang inaabot na pangarap, if, if you really want to achieve, um, kailangan mo ng tunong ng iba, huwag kang mahihiyang magtanong. <laughs> you can ask for help. Okay? But don't forget to give back. I mean, to once you receive or once you are already there, kung saan ka man papunta, don't forget the people behind your success. Okay. And po, to my employer, shout out to my employer in New Zealand, Misha, thank you so much. And to my good friend in New Zealand, Tonet, and my wife, Christelle, na tumulong sa akin para makuha yung job offer sa New Zealand. Thank you! Sa spent around 50,000 from English test to teacher's registration. So, if you have watched my previous video about how to become a registered teacher in New Zealand, there are two main requirements. Yun yung pinaka-importante na makuha nyo muna and that is the English test and yung NCQA. I will start with English test kasi dun ako talaga nagkumpisa and I took PPE July 20, 2019, and price was 250 USD, okay? 250 US dollars. Pero, kasi advance yung booking ko, mga 2 weeks yata yun, naka-save ako ng 50 dollars kasi may discount sila. So, I only paid 200 USD. And that time, the value was around 9,700 plus. So, yun. Yun yung first kong nabayaran, 9,700. And then, when I passed the test, I immediately had my qualifications assessed by NZQA. And that time, iba pa yung process nila. So, yun na yung tinatawag na NZ, yung, yung ginamit ko is NZQA IQA, which is the International Qualification Assessment para sa kagaya ko na may overseas qualification. So, I paid around 746 New Zealand dollars. So, take note, kanina po US dollars yun. Ngayon naman, 746 New Zealand dollars and during that time, value nun, 
26,000 in peso. Okay, so 26,000 na po in peso. So, yun, that was the second step. And so, yun na nga, yung English test around 9,000. Tapos, yung NCQA is around 26,000. Pero ngayon kasi, medyo iba na yung process ng NCQA. So, I would suggest that you visit their official website. Just go to Google and type NCQA and click their official website. You will see the updated fee and the process. After noon, nung makuha ko na both, pag, nung okay na silang dalawa, kasi kaso ko naman yung mga papers ko in the Philippines, like yung NBI, Certificate of Employment, and everything. Uh, hindi ko na lang include yung amount nun, pero siguro nasa sarili na lang natin, naka-spend ako ng around siguro 1.5, gano'n na lang. So, pero sa teachers after noon, nung makomplete ko na siya, um, yung teachers registration fee sa teaching council will cost you around 302 New Zealand dollars. And that was my time. Hindi ko po na check kung may changes ko ngayon, pero that time, 302 New Zealand dollars. And um, when I check, yung nabayaran ko is nasa around 10,000 pesos. Okay? So, yun ang uh, isa sa mga babayaran nyo para sa teacher's registration. And since I was in... Actually, nasa Vietnam ako ng time na yun, umuwi lang ako sa Pilipinas para asikasuhin yun for two weeks. So, sa Pilipinas ko talaga siya pinadala. So, from Philippines to New Zealand, sinend ko yung, yung mga documents ko to teaching council okay via DHL and um, yung cost po noon is nasa around 1100 yata nung time na yun. I, I think 1100 or 1200 so yun yung pinaka last kong na bayaran and ayun na po yung last na uh, step para sa akin yung isend yun sa teaching council sa New Zealand so all in all po nung aking nung Kinumpute ko siya lahat. Actually, ngayon lang ako nag-compute. Naisip ko lang kasi nagtanong si J.R. Postrado. <laughs> okay, so, ngayon lang ako nag-compute. So, parang mabot siya ng 46,652 for the teacher's registration process itself. I mean, lahat na yon yung, yung English test, yung NCQA, tsaka yung teacher's registration fee. So, mabot po siya ng 46,652 and siguro mga more or less 48, 49 kasi syempre may iba pang mga pinaggagaso. So, mga 50,000 ganun. So, I hope I was able to answer your question and I hope na nakapagbigay ako ng makatutulong na information sa aking mga viewers. Thank you so much. Don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And don't forget, share this video to someone. Let's pray na matapos na lahat itong pandemic para magpatuloy na ang ating mga pangarap. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.